Okay, so just working through this, what you'll see is we've taken this 70 minutes, and over here we've converted it into a time that Excel is happy with. So firstly, how many buses do we require specifically for that load? It's going to be equals, how many passengers do we need to transport? What can the bus handle? Just put my dollar signs on. And what we're going to do in this case, we're going to actually round up. For those extra people, we're going to buy an extra bus. So I'm going to say round up. So we can now see how many buses we need at each point in time. But we know that some of these buses are going to come back. So logically, if it's 70 minutes, I know that over here somewhere, over here, what I expect to see is the, these four buses coming back. So how can we do that? Well, we need something in Excel that can look at a list and then find whatever the current time is less the 70 minutes. How many buses left at that time? So that's where the VLOOKUP comes into play. So the lookup value is going to be what's the time minus our round trip. I'm just put the dollar signs on. Where's the table array? We're now going to actually look at ourselves. And you'll see we're going to include that one there. And I put my dollar signs on. What column index must it bring through? It must bring through the second one. And because we're not quite sure of what times we'll use, I'm going to say true. When I say OK, you'll see it brings back a 4. When I go this way, it looks like it's working. If I go up, however, you'll see I get an error message. That's because there is no time earlier than that. So it's useful to check this because we now know that if there's an error, bring back no buses. So this should now... So what we now know is how many buses do we need to buy? And over here you'll see there is a point where even though we need seven buses, four will have come back. So we only need to buy the three. So I'm going to say, how many do we need to buy? It's that minus whatever comes back. So you'll see what you've got here now is we need four, seven, five, six, five, three. Then suddenly we need five, but seven have come back. So we actually are negative two. What's the cumulative required? I'm just going to say, so I'm going to say just add them up, please. So you'll see what it's done is it goes through and it adds up cumulatively and then what we've done is we've got a max function here because what that's saying is look at this because whatever the biggest number is here that's how many buses we're going to have to buy what buses are parked well if they're not in use then they need to be parked so what you could say is how many buses we buy minus how much are currently in use should give us an idea of how much we need to park.